Hi, if you're new around here, my name is Jack. In this channel, I talk about personal finance, adulting, and self-improvement. And today, in this video, let's talk about the stock market. Our home is packed right now, so wala ang personal space sa bahay namin na hindi ako manjudge with me talking to a camera, so expect my videos to be here inside the car until matapos tong lockdown na to. When I was first intrigued to trade the stock market, itong mga tanong na to yung tanong ko sa sarili ko. So I'm expecting ito din yung mga tanong sa sarili nyo, but if you have different questions than mine, you can shoot them in the comment section down below. First question ko na sa sarili ko is how do I put my money in the stock market? So for this one, this is an easy question to answer. All you need to do is to open an account sa isang licensed stock brokerage firm here in the Philippines kasi they act as a middleman between sa stocks exchange and to us retail investors. So yung mga popular ones are called Financial, Phil Stocks, First Metal Securities, Bideo Nomura, BPI Trade, and the list goes on. So any stock brokerage firm naman will do or will be good para sa inyo but take note lang that there are some brokers or yung mga platforms nila pagka madaming mga uh, active users na gumagamit, some of them freezes and crashes. So just beware na ganun yung mangyayari. So take good research then if you want to be a daily active trader. Second question ko sa sarili ko is how do I make money in the stock market? So for this one, there are two ways to make money in the stock market. So yung una is through capital gain. So as a simple selecta, all you need to do is to buy a stock at a lower price and sell it at a higher price. But to tell you the truth, hindi siya ganun kadaling gawin. But yung idea is just the same na buy low, sell high. And yung second one is through dividends. So for this one naman, uh, yung dividends kasi pagka kumikita yung company, pagka may profit siya, nagkakaroon ng profit sharing between shareholders and stockholders. So pinag hati-hatian ng mga stockholders and shareholders yung profit ng company. So, yun yung dividends. So, sa dividends naman, simply lang, the more stock you own, the more you'll get out of dividends. Third question ko rin sa sarili ko is what stocks do I buy? Itong tanong na ito, medyo nang tagal na ako sagutin yung sarili ko kasi akala ko before, if the company is making money, dapat pataas yung stock price niya. Dapat ganun yung idea nun before Pero hindi pala siya basta-basta ganun And kung titignan mo din Ang dami mong options There are 300 plus companies Listed in the stocks exchange So how do I know which stocks is for me, di ba? Okay, to simplify things Let's just categorize yung stocks Into three kinds of categories Namely, blue chip, second liner Next is the third liner and penny stocks So ano ba itong mga to? So yung uh, mga blue chips To simplify this It's just that uh, uh, top 30 listed companies natin here in the Philippines. So these are your SMs, your Ayalas, your GT Cups, your GG Summit, and your MPIs. For second liners, you could say yung Double Dragon, the MCI, Welcon, Cebu Pacific. Uh, good companies but not the premium brands. Then for the third liners, pwede mong sabi dyan yung mga uh, ter third telco speculative stocks. So yung ISM yung dito na ngayon na company or yung uh, now corporation. So malamang hindi kayo familiar dito and it's fine. If you want to be more specific kung paano may ka-classify yung siyang stock, you could use yung size ng market capitalization. Yeah. Um, so, bakit ko ba sinasabi itong mga to? Kasi yung mga tendencies nito, iba't iba. So, for blue chips, on a normal, on a normal day, uh, wala pang 1% yung galaw niyan. But on an active day, 2-3% to yung mga pwede niyang igalaw. For second liners naman, on an active day, it can move ng 3-5%. to For speculative stocks naman, more than 5 percent yung galaw niya on an active day. So I suggest if you're a beginner, try to trade muna on blue chips and use muna a small portion of your capital. Uh, look at its tendencies and yung price movement ng stock niya. Uh, learn what price point you're gonna buy and learn what price point you're gonna set. And observe mo din yung emotions mo because definitely you'll feel greed and fear so be aware of that. Lastly, learn how to cut your losses or practice proper risk management. Or in layman's term, matuto ka magbenta ng lugi kaysa mas malugi ka. I think this is a very important lesson to learn as a beginner and and kahit pa long-term investor ka, I think dapat marunong ka mag-cut ng losses mo. Then as you feel confident trading the stock market, tsaka na mag-try ng second liner and third liner until ma-figure out mo yung system that works for you. Okay, this is actually the fourth time that I'm recording this video. Yung una, the first one, uh, I forgot to clean my nose. Yung second one naman, uh, late na ako nagising and sobrang sikat na na ng araw yung mukha ako. So sobrang init and I know, nisip nyo, pati di mo nalang igalaw yung kotse, ba? 
Pero yun nga, I live in an old subdivision and wala kaming parking space dito. So first come, first serve sa parking. So hindi ko magalaw yung kotse. And the third time, uh, sobrang pinapawis na ako doon. So I'm clenching with sweat. So yun, for this time, I wake up early para tapusin tong video na to. Okay, important reminders. So continuously educate yourself, learn more about technical analysis and fundamental analysis. So I'll leave links below ng mga sites na pwede niyo pag-aralan ng fundamental and technical analysis. So for fundamental analysis, basically you're just uh, pinag-aralan mo intrinsic value ng stock and tinitingnan mo yung kung kumikita ba siya. You're just basing all on spreadsheets. Tapos naman for technical analysis, you're basing do sa past price movement and volume movement ng stock. So para na charts ka lang. Never believe in anyone, including me. So beware of uh, Facebook groups and online gurus na nag-recommend ng stock. Kasi madalas, when they recommend ng stock, they have a bias or interest towards a stock. So learn how to formulate your own bias towards a stock. Always cross-reference your educational materials. So ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Lala lang ba before, nung nag-aaral ka pa, and may parang sagot, may gusto ko malaman na sagot sa exam mo, pero hindi pa ibibigay sa inyo yung results. Pero kinahaba, hindi ka sure kung tama or mali yung sagot mo. So what you do, di ba, is tatanong mo yung classes mo, class mates mo na, oy ano yung sagot mo dito sa number na to? Ano yung sagot mo dito sa number na to? Ano yung sagot mo dito sa number na to? At mahita mo, di ba, may mga similarities yung sagot nila. And then, tatahin mo yung facts. So, pag natahin mo na yung facts, ay, parang, ay, alam mo na sa sarili mo kung mali ka or tama ka. So, ganun din yung gagawin mo with your educational materials. You compare it to others until ma-figure out mo na kung alin yung facts, alin yung tama, at alin yung mali. Lastly, let me just share my personal story. So, I'm no expert or guru in this kind of field. I'm just like you, another guy who finds this kind of stuff interesting. So, I opened my account way back in 2017. Wala pa akong alam nun. I'm just buying random stock. So, uso pa nun yung PXP. And ako na, hindi ko siya alam. All I know is that it is a petrol volume stock. And yun, uh, I'm not losing or making money way back then. Uh, so, break even lang ako noong 2017. Comes 2018, I become more serious in trading the stock market and I start journaling my trade. So, ibig sabihin nito, gumawa na ako na lista ng lahat ng trades na ginagawa ko and yung mga basis ko doon nilalagay ko. And noong 2018, everyone is so hype na tataas pa yung stock market kasi noong start ng ano, noong year na yun, everyone is thinking na, oh, the stock market will hit 10K. Ibig sabihin, tataas pa tong stock market natin kasi yung slogan before or yung team ng stock market before is yung build, build, build which is yung slogan ng current administration natin. But, all of a sudden, biglang nagbago yung team plan ng market kasi biglang hindi na control ng BSP yung inflation natin. So, nagkaroon tayo ng inflation rate na mataas noong time na yun, there are uh, months na nag-6.7% yung inflation rate natin. And yung target lang nung uh, BSP is around 3-4% na uh, inflation rate. So, yun. Suddenly, biglang bumagsak yung stock market natin noong 2018. 2019, to cut the long story short, yung story lang ng stock market natin is US-China trade war. So, sideways tayong galawan ng stock market natin. Hindi siya tumataas, hindi rin siya bumababa. And parang nung March of 2019, I stopped trading the stock market because I, al I almost lost 10% of my capital. So instead, I just pulled out my money and bumili nila ako ng podcasting gear ko last year. That's why I was able to uh, start my podcast last year. And this year, I find the stock market interesting again. And obviously, the story na is about the pandemic. So I'm planning to start trading again. So hopefully, this time, I'll be able to make money and not lose money. That's it for this video. This is an open-ended story. Only time will tell if I'll be losing more money or I'll be making the money na talo before. So, I'm more biased towards the positive one this time na I'll be able to trade well. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. If you appreciate my type of content, please consider subscribing. That's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye!